Hi everybody, it's Sunday, November 13th. Uh, it's 3 o'clock and we're here and looking for the Little People's Village. And this place has a lot of, a lot of folklore and mythology attached to it and some paranormal activity. Um, but bottom line is it was a tourist attraction along a trolley route for Lake Quasi, which is down the road. And it's one of the nation's oldest uh, water parks and amusement parks. And um, they built a little tiny village in there. And after it was abandoned, it started to get all kinds of um, mythology about little people. There's supposed to be a king's throne and stuff like that in there. And we're going to get in there. It's a little busy here. We're in Middlebury. All right, so uh, we were talking earlier about some of the mythology. After this, the structure, they built a little village and they called it the Kingdom of the Little People. And it was a tourist attraction. But then it fell into disrepair as the trolleys weren't used anymore and they became abandoned and that's when the mythology starts. There is some folklore about a couple that lived here in the early 60s and the wife uh, wanted to build a little house and uh, then she instructed her husband to build more and more and more until they both went crazy. But I couldn't find any actual facts to verify that and I'm going to chalk that up to folklore. Um, but abandoned places. Abandoned places always, I mean it goes back to the Bible, there's references about abandoned places and spirits and the myth is if you sit, there's a throne over there, if you sit in the throne you'll die within a year. So don't sit on the throne, don't even, I mean myth or not, all right, don't tempt fate with those things. We are on Route 63 in Middlebury, not too far from Maggie McFly's, don't park there. Um, come on Old Waterbury Road and then the road will just end. The gentleman here that lives on the road was very helpful and as I said we've never been here before but you can see we have some niece here we were talking about that in the last episode and Connecticut's niece is 1.3 billion years old where continents collided together we're gonna get in there We've never been in here before, but right away I see high power power lines. And you know from our previous episodes, you're dealing with some very strange electromagnetic forces, other types of really bizarre radiation. You throw that on top of an abandoned little people's village, right there you have some magnetic anomalies that are going to make paranormal things happen, even if they're not paranormal, even if they're just in physics. You throw that in with a place that has folklore, wow. Uh, I'm not going to give this place a high squatch rating. I'm not even going to squatch because we got highways all over the place here. Let's see if we can find this. But power lines, that, that'll give you weird stuff every time. And they're big ones. Well, here it is. Um, it's built with cinder blocks and looks like galvanized steel. Whoever built this, I mean, they really built this thing incredible. And uh, we got people coming. But, you know, it's a tourist attraction. That was actually on my GPS. But this is where we hear all the encounters. So there it is. This is the first of, of some several structures, and let's get in. And they started hearing voices, and some bad stuff happened. They both went crazy. The husband died, and uh, that's that's the, the folklore. But we can't find any historical facts on that. It it is a tourist attraction, old tourist attraction for Quasi. It looks like there's the lighthouse. Do you know lighthouse? No, we haven't got there yet. Okay, so there's a lighthouse and they were selling it recently by Lighthouse Point Park. And there was apparently like two lighthouse keepers, one killed the other. And because it was so damp, it's beautiful. Why is it the Oh, the one further, but it's in New Haven, right? And the noise of it drove them crazy because it was all metal and it was supposed to be really a good. 
obviously a very modern yeah. at the time, but it created this crazy yeah. noise with all the and yeah. apparently helps it connect. You know, and the military uses sonic weapons now, so noise can drive you crazy. Noise is a physical wave. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what the drone is? I think that was no. part of it. We didn't, we've never been here before. Okay, so this is part of Quasi? This yeah. was part of Quasi's tourist Quasi. attraction for the old trolley, yeah. yeah. Back in the day when it was first opened, you right. know, this was built built for that. And then it was abandoned when the trolley was decommissioned. Wow, we got some... This is built with some volcanic rock, like lava, and then quartz. Boy, I mean, you, you add a lot of quartz to something. You're going to get anomalies right there. Come on. Now you can see uh, that this was built with a lot of care and um, it is definitely creepy. They even have quartz laid in here. Uh, it's definitely... Yeah, there's more buildings. Well, don't sit on the throne. No. No, not good. Because the, the, the myth is that you die within a year. The white temp face. Wow, this was all glazed at one time. So these were functional little houses. These aren't doll houses. We got a crew with us today. What's your family's last name? Uh, the Hoffmans. The Hoffmans have joined CSIS on investigating the little people village and they've never been here before either. We'll let them go ahead of us. This thing is incredible. This is like a stove pipe for a wood stove or something. And look at the steel. This, this is an old wood stove. Like, why would you heat this thing? And the plumbing room. And in here. I don't know. This construction is is in look at that up there that's metal steel of some type wow um you know i work in construction mary come here my dog is here this is creepy and we got the hoffmans we want to thank them the construction is all stone thank you hoffmans for joining us today we're CCIS on YouTube. Okay. What? CCIS, Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society. We have over 100 investigations. CCIS? And you can... CCIS. So this place, I mean, this is old, you know, this is old water pipes and stuff. And you gotta wonder, and there's something like a 13 graffiti on here. You gotta wonder, why would you build something like that with this much detail? It, if supposedly it was just a tourist attraction, why would you go ahead and use reinforced rebar, quartz, uh, ceramic piping? You know, this is all, this is all industrial grade stuff. But why would you want water pipes in there? It, it makes no sense at all. Uh, it's unfortunate because this place... All right. The Hoffmans have discovered the throne. I mean, to do round windows with concrete, all right? This is rusted rebar here. This thing is built serious. Like, 
real serious. It's cool. I'm gonna go. Mary, get out of there. Um, there is the throne of the king of the little people, and there's the myth. If you sit, uh, or the myth, and that's what we do, we investigate. Them. If you sit on this throne, you will die within a year. And I see that this thing was inlaid with some kind of really cool, I'm gonna guess a Celtic knot of some kind, but wow. Wow, that is just more volcanic rock, nice. It's hollow under there. Let me get my uh, light in there. I'm not going to reach my hand in there. We don't want to disrespect the throne in any way. To mold these round things like this maybe there was a metal pipe in there but wow I mean this thing is seriously built so um, you know we don't want to disrespect the king here we respect you king he's just here and uh, we just come in peace and please leave us in peace and we're just doing a, a, a nice fun little investigation Wow, maybe do an EVP here. A lot of noise with the traffic, but let's try it. We'll see what we get when, later on, because you don't hear them right away. Um, well, we're, we're glad to be here, King, at your little people village, and I'm very impressed. It was obviously built with a lot of love, and um, we thank you for letting us visit here today. We mean no harm. Is there anything you would like to say to CSIS or anybody else, um, any of the inhabitants of the Little People's Village? Is there any advice or something you can give us? Well, um, we appreciate you letting us visit here today. There's numbers up on there. We're not going to tempt fate and sit on the throne, but man, I am really, really impressed with this place. And the woods are full of vines. Get that, like, like sort of claustrophobic feeling in here. And this whole thing, it's the piping. I just, I mean, I can't get it out of my head that these things were heated. And why? Why would you build something like that? Um, like like on one, one of the ancient alien people from the History Channel said about Pumapunku, which is, you know, a very cool place um, in Peru. I think it's Peru. Uh, they're talking about the stone structures, and one of the guys says, it's as if you only used master builders and made it as difficult of a build as possible and when i look at this i'm like that's what happened here they built this thing overbuilt it and if it's just like a facade you know just a tourist attraction why would you build all this heating ductwork and waterways it's like looks like they're sticking around for a bit anyway um but you can join us too they just happen to be in the parking lot they had Hot and cold running water and, and, and you know fireplaces and wood stoves and stuff I definitely get a camera person you get a creepy feeling here we gotta do a howl
well so as i was saying on the squatch -a meter like a two uh, we're just surrounded by highways here this is just a small little tract of woods i'm sure there's a lot of wildlife anywhere you got power lines power lines and an abandoned little people village yeah that adds up to anomalous phenomena for sure it's all overgrown all right we're gonna cut it short move on down see if there's anything else and then then we'll see you on another episode um so there's no doubt this is a heating pipe look at the steel used in this iron a lot of quartz in the construction and all i see is nice laying around so this quartz was brought in probably brought in on the trolley there's a lot to this. I can see some stone structures here. Whoa, look at this thing. More crazy piping. Look at this mobile foundation here. Mobile concrete with quartz. Oh man, old terracotta pipes. Look at this molded. Look at the stone work here. Are you That's a piece of a car, because there's a reflector. But you look at the stonework and the ironwork, and what the heck is going on over here? Oh, this says something. All right, you know, don't leave your political stuff in my historic sites. You're disrespecting the king and his kingdom, and that's not cool. But we leave here, look at this lava rock. Oh, it's so cool here. That lava rock is magnetic. You have electromagnetic power lines. You have quartz, steel, a conductor of electricity. I, I can't, it's built with rebar and concrete, inches thick. I just, slate overlaid it. Why would you do that for heat? A tremendous heat, but I don't see any signs of fire in there. This is like a storage, like a cold, like a root cellar. I, I am perplexed. If you're going to do graffiti, do it. Here must have been a picture of you know, some artist's rendition of Little People's Village. I see water and mushrooms to give you some scale. Of course, these things aren't this tall. These things are massive and impressive. And now I can tell that was a fireplace. You can see the heating ducts. Whoa, I didn't see this artwork before. Nice cap. And that's done with metallic gold paint, so you know that's the artist. We're going to look you up, Nice Cat, and find out. <laughs> we're going to talk to you. We're going we're gonna to find Nice Cat next to an investigation. Oh, look at this. You have a walkway here. Wow. It's very viney and overgrown. This just adds to the whole appeal of it. Look at the rebar you use. That's an I beam. Okay? That's a freaking I beam to build skyscrapers with. That might be no, that might be some of the old trolley rail. If not, then it's a building I beam. They're very similar. I'll tell you what, my dog does not want to be in here anymore. Oh, yeah. I feel thrown all this. There's another one. There's another remnants of another. The steel that they use, the stone. 
these things were not just slapped up. You had, these are professional engineered buildings, were. And that's why they're still here. Even though they're in a ruined state, that's why they're still up here. So, like we did for Meriden, we created a new tradition based on the history of Orsisis. We do that. We make new traditions. And if you want to come here and have a nice experience, then you do what you would do to any king in any kingdom if you're in their land. You bow to the king, thanking your majesty for letting us visit your kingdom. It is impressive and we were so happy to be here and we'll see you again. And you do that and you'll be on good terms with, with the king of the village here, the little people and the little people themselves. Don't leave graffiti on here. Don't mess it up. Okay? This, this should be a little more cleaned up. Maybe some stuff, not the old stuff, maybe some new stuff added to show you what it did look like back in the day. I could see that down here. And again, Connecticut, you got these cool things. You know how we love the Department of Tourism. You're doing a great job with no markers and uh, no paths and no kiosks. Keep it up. It's great. Thank you. We might as well try a call tap. I mean, so we gave it a two on the squatchometer. But so what? I mean, we'll try it anyway. I really don't see. Um, I don't see where there would be a squatch here. I haven't seen much in the way of a forge base here. But I do see these gigantic boulders everywhere. And as you know, boulders play a big role in missing 411. The people out there have been asking me to elaborate on that, and we're going to do that in an upcoming episode. We're not going to get into that today, but boulders, large boulders, and as you can see, there's a cliff face over there. That's, that's more nice, and these rocks themselves, these large boulders, um, they give off some kind of weird energy. I'm, I'm just getting into it. Let's try a call tap. I don't expect much in the way of a response, but you never know. This is a good time of year to come here because there's a lot of thickets and stuff like that and a lot of leaves are down less chance of getting ticks not that you can't deer hold ticks all year and our white-tailed deer here we talked about that are suffering from hemorrhagic fever and dying and now they have covid which is definitely definitely uh, a biological weapon and if you don't think it is Oh, so this thing just happened to be at the wet market in Wuhan, China, right next to a biological weapons factory. You know, doesn't add up. If it doesn't make sense, it isn't true, Cecil. Judge Judy said that one. So, um, we have a swamp here. And swamps and squatch and dogmen, they just, they just go together water again now you people are missing 411 a lot of water boulders don't separate uh, these are two factors that that are are common what um david pilates you, you guys are rocking out there the pos the point of separation uh, you could just turn around bend boom you're missing and that's it they might find you a year later they might find your shoes uh, half a mile in perfectly laid next to each other um, with the clothes there, all your personal items. Um, yeah, yeah this has got a lot of the things that happen in a um, 
Palat in, in a Missing 401 episode, except this isn't a national park, but it is a park. I actually found this on my GPS. But look at the swamp. Look at all the tires here. And it was the camera person who said, you know, it looks like a car came down there. Well, you know, you got the highway, and I can see this is an older metal fender, a bumper, sorry. And so that's probably off an old Ford pickup truck in the 70s or 60s. And it ended up, I, I would assume, coming down the hill, bang, landing here, and it's not ever going to leave. Or somebody four-wheeled it in, there was a road, and it got stuck and bogged down and just stuck here. I can see parts of it are buried. And more tires, a lot of tires, you know, which must mean, like, people are getting blowouts up there. And that's, that's a high concentration of them. I see more car parts over there. And they don't talk about that. I can see there is water. You see that drainage pipe over there? So there's moving water here. Back in the day, it probably flowed pretty good. And they might have moved it when they put in these power lines. They might have altered the wetlands, which, which we did back in the day. It was terrible. We still do it today, and we shouldn't. We're getting better, but not good enough. Um, so we gave it a very low rating on the squatch meter but on the creep meter oh that's a solid five that is a solid five on the creep meter so it looks like a lot of um i see more auto parts over there definitely uh this is not good for cars here it's just there's too many tires too many fenders too many car parts I don't know we don't know if they're having accidents here in a higher ratio than other parts we can certainly find that out for you we'll look into it um, and, and we'll get back with you on that we got nerd facts coming up here we're gonna put all the history so that I don't have time to talk about it today and even though a lot of this stuff does spin off the hot top of my head this is we don't script these people out there this just rolls off the top of this nerd head here um, but I don't know all of the history offhand we're gonna get it so it's accurate but if you want to check this place out, wow, this is really cool. It's it's about a mile in, maybe less than that. And when the trail, it looks like it goes straight, you'll see just a little bend to the left as you're approaching this. And you can start to see one of the structures. You'll see some right angles. Follow that path in, and then you'll see the throne and what appears to be the rest of it. Because from here, I don't see any more of this. But it, wow 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 it's creepy just just how intense the building is on that thing why would you heat that thing those are definitely heating and water pipes and they're this you know what the heck what the heck connecticut you know connecticut we are a lot squatchier and a lot creepier than people give us credit for so come on out you know get in touch with us if you want to join us on these things um, a lot of times we don't even know we were just driving by it today of course we knew about this but just driving by it so we stopped and that's why a lot of times we don't have CISA's team members with us because it's just impromptu um, but get in touch with us if you want to go we'll set up some squatching events I know my friend Dave out there wants to join us and I know Benny and some others want to join us and George I don't know if George wants to join us but eh, we're gonna get him we're gonna get George I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you to join us George even if it's just a noodle in for catfish. I bet he would do that. There it is. There's a ceaseless challenge, George. Let's go noodle in for catfish. <laughs> I'm an advanced open water scuba diver, but I'll just go in with nothing, just a pipe like they do. Just a PVC pipe, and then you stick your hand under the hole. And I know George knows what this is. The catfish bites your hand, and you pull it out. And they do this down south. Well, we have the same catfish here, and they exhibit the same behavior. It's just that it's probably colder and more dangerous up here. Which makes it even better. So there you go, George. Let's go noodle it. Um, we're having fun today. As we always do. And we're going to check the EVPs. Let's try an EVP one more time. Does anybody from the village, maybe a representative of the little people, who are very noble and wonderful people, we love you. We come in peace. Does anybody want to say anything? We'll see what we get. I'm not big into the EVPs. Electronic voice phenomena is what EVP stands for. And recorders, if you just will ask questions and then play it back, a lot of times you'll have responses. It's very intriguing. And I know my paranormal friends would be all over this. You guys should come out here. 
Old Waterbury Road in Middlebury off of Route 63. Just drive to the end of the street and park on the side away from the houses and you'll have no problem. Follow the path, stay on the paved path. When you get towards what looks like the end, underneath the power lines, as you're approaching, take a left in there and, and then there's a series of structures. All right, so that helped you. We had a hard time fi figuring out how to get here. And then of course, it's just boom on my GPS. <laughs> I feel a little bit embarrassed. Um, but hey, we're gonna talk to you. 411, missing 411, we're gonna do. My dog does not like it here, look at him. He, his hair is up a little bit. I, of course, you know your pets. He keeps staring over there. Look at his ears are up. <laughs> it's creepy here. He does not like it. All right, we're going to cut this short and we're going to get out of here. Of course, we've switched into that whole wonderful thing where we turn the clocks back, daylight savings time. And that is just the worst thing. So. Uh, it's almost probably close to 4 o'clock, which means it's going to get pitch black in 20 minutes <laughs> and freezing cold. What a great thing to do. Spring forward and lock the clocks, people. It's a movement. Let's do it. All right. We'll see you out there on our next adventure. Join us. Send us your reports. Check out our other videos. And we are on location.